Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is favorites, pretty much for the month of October. Like empties, I really enjoy favorites, and I think I enjoy favorites even more. Uh, just most of all, from everybody, and including me doing mine myself, I enjoy doing them uh, because it's like you're doing a thing of appreciation for the month, and I, and I really enjoy that too. I think I have some good ones, especially one that's very meaningful, and I'm going to talk about it first. This is a book called The Growing Season. It's by Doug and my niece, Sarah. This is her second book. The first one was called Loved Baby, and it was about her experience with going through miscarriages and, you know, just trying to reach out and to help other people too. Uh, it was very successful. She's this one has launched in October and it's already very successful. She's she's kind of the legitimate. She's the real deal. You know, she's got her a publisher and you know they a publicist that they come down from the company and they meet with her and they promote the book and you know she's she's done well. She's done really well. She's a wonderful writer. Let me tell you about this. It's called The Growing Season. Doug has a sister named Kim. It's Kim's daughter. So it's it's our niece. Her name is Sarah Philpott, uh, and she and her husband, Perry, live out on a farm here in East Tennessee. And so she takes a year of devotions, and she relates it to the farm, and she gives recipes from friends and from fa family, a couple of recipes from Doug's mom, which is, of course, her grandmother, and then her other grandmother, Faye. Um, and it's just charming, and it's beautiful, and it's lovely, and I think the people that watch me would just really, really enjoy this so much. And Perry, her husband, will have, you know, I think it's called like Farmer Tips from Perry, and he'll give all little tips about how to tell if a watermelon's ripe, or how to, how to start growing different things, gardening tips, farming tips. They have a farm, I don't know if I mentioned this, they have a farm, a big farm, uh, you know, outside of town. And it's a cattle farm and they grow things and they, uh, you know, we, we buy things from them and freeze them and we buy meat from them and uh, it's just, it's just very charming. And it is a devotion. It's a devotion that is year round. She's taken a whole year in East Tennessee on her farm and done devotions and done what it's like to you know be a farmer's wife and just so good so sweet so charming and the things on the back of you know things that southern people say is just going to really really make you tickle but it's nativity on the farm delayed harvest on the farm fowl on the farm wildflowers on the farm it's just wonderful growing season the a year of down on the farm devotions by sarah philpott i really really hope y'all will take a look at this i will have her link on amazon down below sarah's just such a sweet girl uh, she was four when doug and i got married so i've watched her grow up she's a wonderful wonderful woman and they are a wonderful family i think you'll very much enjoy this book the next one, I'll have to show you a, tr uh, a picture. I've talked about it before. It was sort of an accident that I found it. It is my bath tray. Uh, I tend to be more of a bath, well, at least half and half, if not more bath than shower. And I have my setup and, a, you know, I have my book and I have all my stuff, you know, that I scrub with and my uh, body washes and, and all that stuff just set up on it. And it's just absolutely wonderful to set up on your bathtub. It's got uh, all, all kinds of little tiny compartments on it where you can put things. It's just wonderful. And I wanted to mention it again because I have used it so much. Okay, the next one is something I saw on Tiffany D's channel. So I bought it and I absolutely love it. It's a throw. And I probably could have knit it myself, but I don't know if I could have knit it for the price that I paid for. I think it was just $30. But it's a throw from Threshold and Studio McGee. Just wonderful size, very well made, very warm, and it is going to warm up these winter nights coming up. And plus, it's a great gift, to tell you the truth. 
they're running a little low, but I did find them on a website, and I can't remember which one, but I did find them. I think maybe it was my Amazon, but I'm, I'm going to link it below. By the way, all you have to do is click on the title, if you're on a cell phone, on the title of this video, and you will see what I have listed down below. So I love this. Really already used it so much. The next one is this round brush from Wet Brush. I have never been able to use a round brush because I have such tangly fine hair, it gets caught in the metal ones or caught just in any kind of bristles except these. These have three different kinds of brish, bristles in them. They're at an angle, they're swirl, and I have hair in it, so I don't want to show it too close. But I have had the best luck airbrushing my hair with this. Now, it probably doesn't do as good a job as something like with metal in it that holds the heat, but if you can't use those kind, this is a really good substitute for people with super tangly hair. It's great. I love this, and plus I just use it to brush my hair out too. It just, it just does a wonderful job. Okay, the next one is a, well, we call it fanny pack here in the United States, but I think in the UK that, that might be a nasty word, but anyway. It's what you wear around your waist. It's a, a belt or a hip bag. It's made by Happy Cow. It's an Australian company. We have gone to several fall festivals where we walk through and look at things and need money to purchase things. And if I carry a purse, oh my goodness, it just kills my arm by the end of the day. So I just strap this around my waist and it's really, really cute. It looks really cute on and it's got several compartments put your phone and you can put you know a lipstick you can put money and it's got hidden compartments back here and it's got a compartment on the top here for hidden things and it's just I feel real secure I have it in the front I can put my arm over it so I feel safe and feel more protected with it I love this every if I'm gonna be going through like with the grandkids going through a park where I might need money or a fair where I might need money or we'll have a Christmas celebration, a downtown Christmas celebration outside where I might need money. I always buy my wreath uh, down there. I don't want to carry a lot of things. I'm usually buying food or buying things for the grandkids. This is invaluable. I just put it around my waist, don't even think about it anymore and it holds a lot of things. Uh, I will link their company. It's called Happy Happy Cow, and it's an Australian company. So, I love this. It is just, it just looks, I always get compliments on it. I wear a cute pair of jeans and a little shirt tucked in, and I put this on kind of like a belt, and it hangs there, and it's just, it doesn't look like your traditional tourist fanny pack. I really like it. The next one is a nail polish, and of course I don't have it on because I put on something. I put on black uh, during Halloween, but I wore it all October, and it is uh, from OPI Funny Bunny. It's a classic. So many people wear it. I had never bought it before. I love it. It lets your it lets your nails kind of show through underneath, and I, I get lots of compliments on this too. People would look at my nails and say, "I really like that nail color," and um, it, it is funny bunny. Really, really enjoy that. The next one uh, I'm going to talk about is get an oximeter. If you don't have one with COVID and with flu season and with just getting a bad cold, as you can tell, I've got a bad cold myself, just get one to test your oxygen levels. Uh, I took my nail polish, the black nail polish on this one. That's why I've been using just nail polish instead of uh, like gel nails, just something I can take off easily and was taking, testing my oxygen when this cold started. So get an oximeter. I have one that I have from CVS, but I'm not even going to link one. I'm just going to mention it. Just get one that you trust that has good ratings and has good reviews. The next one is a curling wand that I used so much in October. It is a Nero wand, so it is clipless. And what I would do is, the whole month of October I used this. When you would send me with those kind of wild beachy waves, it was this that I used. What I would do is I would wrap my hair around it and then slip the wand out and catch it and then, you know, do a pin curl to my scalp and let it cool down that way. I have so much success with this. It's so easy to use. It is long and it is the same length going all the way up and down. I really, really like this a whole lot. 
uh, and used it so much during the month. But I got it at Ulta. I think Paul Mitchell makes this. I'm not sure I'll have to look it up again, but uh, I really like this. The next one are cleaning cloths that I absolutely love, and they will last forever. I think you get three of them in a pack. What I like about this is you just wet it. You don't use anything else, no window cleaner or anything. You wet it, and it cleans glass like magic. I have a sliding glass uh, door, so I will wipe it with just water, nothing else, and it looks all wet, and you think it's going to be streaky, but it isn't. The name of it is the Streak-Free Factory Microfiber Cloth, and it is streak-free. I'll just go around doing all my mirrors in my bathroom, and my mirrors here, and my mirrors there, all over. And then I will clean my bathroom with it. So I will put, you know, my spray in my bathtub and wipe it all down and then do my spray, you know, in my sink and wipe it all down and then just throw it in the washing machine. You can put it in the washing machine, but don't put it in the dryer. Just I hang it up like here, like a quarter and let it dry. But these are great. I get them off Amazon and they have a little thing on it that's as seen on TV. So it's one of those as seen on TVs, but they do such a good job of cleaning. They're very, very important to me in my cleaning. They really are. I start with these. I start with these and go around, wipe everything that I can that will accept water. And it, everything is clean and shiny and streak free and water drop free. It's, they're great. The next one Doug wanted me to mention. This is a soap that he absolutely loves. It's called From the Soap Guy. So it's handmade soap. It's a La soap with lots of moisturizing ingredients in it. So it's got uh, like coconut oil and soybean oil and well, just all kinds of them in there. It smells good. This is the Bay Berry Citrus and it smells really good. What he likes about it is he used to have that, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but you know, when, you're, when your skin has all these little tiny bumps all over it and it got rid of that for him. So he, he just loves a lot of soap. He really does. But this one doesn't dry out his skin. It's very, very moisturizing. So he wanted me to mention that. It's called uh, From the Soap Guy. I guess it's a guy that does it. He just said, mention this in your favorites because I really like it. And some of the men out there might like it too. So I am. Okay, I'm going to talk about some TV. Well, let me talk about, yeah, I'm going to talk about some TV shows now. The first one is one we are actually watching right now, but we technically started watching it in October, so I think it's appropriate. It's called The Long Call. So, a body is found on the beach, and so, you know, our detective has to figure out who did it. He grew up in a kind of a cult situation, a very religious cult, and he is gay. And so you see some of his personal aspects and his detective, his sidekick that, you know, is with him, her personal situation a little bit, but the story's mainly about him and his partner and his mother. It starts with his father dying. So his mother, his relationship with his mother is very complicated because he was told to leave the cult when he got up and announced that he was gay. And so it, it goes from it goes from there. He has to go back and talk to these people that he left in order to solve this crime. So it is very very good, and we were kind of riveted with it. It's called The Long Call. Some more Midsummers came out. Midsummer murder mysteries. They're classics. So uh, if you haven't watched them, be sure that you do. They're just absolutely charming and just wonderful. This season. It has been very, very good. It's been more complicated. It's been uh, really, really interesting and just a little bit deeper, I think. So it's it's a good season this year. Manhunt. Uh, we watched the I think it was the second season of Manhunt, starring Martin Clunes, and he plays a real life detective. In fact, I talked about another series called The Real Man Manhunter that the actual detective that is depicted in this story's Manhunt, uh, he, he talks about who the real cases and it's the real person talking about it. But Manhunt is a dramatization starring actors 
of his cases, and uh, they're very famous cases in the UK, and it just is really interesting, and he just does such a good job. He's such a good actor. I love him in Doc Martin. I'm ready for it to come back. But this is, we had watched the first season a while back, and they did come up with the second season, and so we are watching it now. I think the second season is still being downloaded one at a time, but we watched several of them in October, and we've got one waiting for us. So, But very, very good. Just a really, really good series by a good actor. Yeah. And I always, I always love watching good acting. I think that's it. I can't remember if I talked about these or not, but uh, if y'all ever watch reaction videos, it's where they take young. I think I have mentioned it, but I'm going to mention it one more time. There's no one in particular that I watch. I just watch several different people. But they take young people that have never heard of the old songs that we listened to when we were young, and they show it to them, and then they get their reactions. And they're always so impressed at how talented these musicians are and were, and how well they sing live on stage with a, now a lot of voice tuning, feedback, and all this that they have nowadays where they can alter a voice in the studio, because a lot of them that they watch will be live performances, and they're always just so impressed. So I enjoy those so much. Okay, thank you so much for watching. My voice is about to get out, and I'm gonna give out, and I'm gonna go get my mammogram. I'll take this with me and edit it while I'm waiting for my mammogram. Thank you so much for watching. I sure do appreciate it um, very, very much. Be sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell, all that. And if you need to see what is in my dime, down bar on a cell phone, just click on the title of this video. But thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Everybody take care and stay safe. I love you all. Bye-bye.